Wow. Wow, wow, and wow. It's the magic of the cup. The magic of the FA Cup. The time in We Are Derby is back. After all these years, the last time these two clubs faced off against each other was 2015-2016 season. Ended in a 1-1 draw at St. James's Park. I, I don't know what to say. I've never experienced a derby live in my life. I, 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 I'm over the moon. Honestly, it is the magic of the cup. Normally with these videos, I have a set thing out. I have a couple of quoted tweets or, or anything, any sort of news that I read out that I know I have a structure for the video. This is complete passion. What I've seen from this afternoon at 1pm when that draw got drawn, I was... I was buzzing. I was walking about the Metro Centre, that's where I was watching it, and I just had a smile on my face. I'm still happy now. We have finally got some, and after all these years, I've had the six, or however long it's been years, of bragging rights. Well, I tell you what, come January the 6th or the 7th, when the date is confirmed, it's time to bring them bragging rights to Newcastle. Without further ado, let's get into the video. <laughs> Read them lads and lasses, how we're doing and welcome back to the channel. Rick goes without saying, Newcastle United have drawn Sunderland in the FA Cup on the 6th or 7th of January. That game's going to be played, of course, at the stadium of light. Look, I'm just absolutely buzzing. We can finally face Sunderland where, look, it's still going to be a little bit of a boggy sort of nervousness around the game. Are they just going to be a Sunderland like Liverpool always are against we'll just get the win because they are Sunderland and they always get that one up against we Or... We've actually got a trusted manager now, a trusted board, and trusted players who can absolutely, on paper, if this was, say, Watford, for example, we would absolutely obliterate this team 5-6 now, and that goes without saying, but it's just great. This is, no matter whose side you're on, the most passionate, the most prideful derby in England. Honestly, it's the, the two, and I, I do hate them, but look, let's admit, two of the most proudest and longest travelling and loyal fans in the whole of the country. It goes without saying, it's the best derby in England. Not many people will disagree with that, unless you're from Birmingham, you may think Birmingham and Villa. Uh, I don't know how Manchester City, Manchester United, they play each other every single season. They get each other in the Cups as well. Uh, I don't know how that can be such a, a look forward to derby, but Newcastle United and Sunderland, we well, haven't played them since 2016. If my maths is correct, that's seven whole years. Coming up eight years in 2024 as well. It comes at a very bad time for Newcastle, you could say as well. We've got, I think it's Liverpool the week before, and then Manchester City. Oh no, Liverpool the game before, and then Manchester City at home the day, uh, the game after. I mean, it's what are we going to prioritise? Look, in my opinion, would I rather lose both of them games and smash some in five and out? I don't know. I actually don't know, but look, I do want Eddie Howe, and I know in some sort of cup games where we've been like, look, we want to prioritise this, like Manchester United, you know, we want to prioritise this, please go for it. He's put up sort of a weakened squad with the best of his ability that he could have, and we were a bit like, oh, we could have put a better one out. Nick Pope could have easily played and go. We still went and beat them with, with Sunderland. Look, it's a completely different story. I want a full-strength team. I want the bragging rights to come in your castle. I want to beat these so hard. Like I say, I've never experienced a derby live in my time. How old, I would have been nine years old when that last derby was played in 2016 uh, it, yes that's how young I am so finally I can experience a derby and just from me being a kid it's been always hyped up I haven't played each other in so long I've never seen Newcastle beat them live of course I've never ever seen we beat them they've, they've always had the bragging rights in my life so this is going to be a very very big game for not only me but most Newcastle United fans to finally know that we can absolutely terrorize this Sunderland team and we are just going to do that as for a fan perspective, look, it's going to be a straight sellout for Newcastle. This, it's on a Saturday or a Sunday, of course. Like I said, it's meant to be due on the 6th or the 7th of January, 2024, of course. Uh, it's a, either a Saturday or a Sunday game. So many fans are wanting to go to this one. I mean, it's just going to be a complete sellout, isn't it? FA Cup, normally, they give a 15% sort of allocation of the whole ground. Sunderland holds 48k, so we're looking at about a 7,300 one. But when all with, with police and health and safety rules and all this stuff, there's going to be riots just because it is a very, very hyped up, haven't played each other in a long time, fias, fias derby. It's just all because of passion and pride. That's all it is. And if you look in, under it beneath all the skin and all the, the sort of fias stuff, it is beautiful that these people are angry at each other because they love their football club so much. And it just, the bragging rights is going to be the biggest thing for me. I'm praying everything I can do to get another way in. But like I was saying, 7,300 seats should be allocated to Newcastle. But Wolf Lags have said on Twitter, this is a very much derby to be proud of. And we should be allowed and trusted to enjoy this FA Cup tie in all of its glory. Make sure fans are a part of the dialogue ahead of this game. Look... I'll do whatever I can to make sure that I get a ticket for this game. Look, fingers crossed, I don't 
think that we'll get the 7.3 thousand allocation. I mean, the police are going to be very, very strict on this. I mean, every time we've played Sunderland, there's been some sort of riots or fights, uh, stuff that we don't really want to be mentioned with fans, unfortunately. But look, it's 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 inevitable. It's going to happen. No matter I can sit behind the camera, it's going to happen. I mean, Newcastle and Sunderland, it's the most fierce derby in England. Let's let's not try and uh, make up this sort of fake persona. Something is going to happen. So the police, unfortunately, aren't going to try and have to... Hack it down. I don't know how much they are going to give. Well, but look, I'm hoping for the maximum that we can. I don't believe it's going to be 7.3 thousand. But oh my God, imagine 7.3 thousand Jordies back in Eddie House Mags at the stadium. Like, it would be absolutely fantastic going into the game. Like I said, we've got Liverpool away the game before and Manchester City home the game after. If we genuinely put out a start 11 against this Sunderland team, they put out their best start 11, we are absolutely thumping these. I know people might say, oh, so you weren't alive about the derbies, they're, just, they're such a bogey team, but look, just look on paper now, right? We, we haven't got the Jack Hall backs in midfield or the Daryl Yalmata right back. He wasn't even that bad, actually, but you know what I mean? If we put out Alexander Isak on that pitch, the £70 million pound Alexander Isak, he is terrorising the midfielders, the defenders. Look, we are having a field day. Honestly, what I, I just can't wait to see black and white on that pitch, there's going to be fights on the pitch, there's going to be goals galore, hopefully, for Newcastle, honestly, it's such an anticipated game, I just wish it was sooner now, I wish it was sooner, but look, no matter if you're a Sunderland fan, or a Newcastle fan, we can't wait for this day, we seriously cannot, 6th or 7th of January, long may it come, because it, it's going to be one of the biggest games of my life, I know I've experienced Champions League, but come on, Sunderland and Newcastle has always been sort of bigged up in my life, and I've never seen it, so for this, for me, it's going to be absolutely monumental, Mental. The thing is as well though, look, every time I'm a Newcastle fan, there's always, and you know this yourself if you're on social media, particularly X, there's always some Sunderland fans who, no matter what we do, if we're having a pint down the pub and we'll put it on Twitter, or if we've just beat someone 4-1, they'll go and court and they'll say, oil money, blood money, whatever it is, they'll, they'll try and have a laugh. I haven't seen nothing from Sunderland fans on this particular draw, actually I've seen one, and it was just quoting what the Sunderland uh, sort of social media would normally say, any sort of football club, it was like 65 minutes, uh, Tony Mowbray makes a change. 8-0 to the visit, as of course mean in Newcastle. Look, they know it's coming. They know that Newcastle are a super mega fantastic team now. They, they, they know it's coming and it, it's beautiful to see. Can we actually pull it off though? That's the main, main factor. Look, I've never experienced one, but I know what Sunderland are like. They, they'll, they'll go and do a 1-0 one one But look, if, if it's quality versus quality, well, we should be beating them 3-4 now. It should be absolutely easy. If we can make Man United look like a training ground session, what is Sunderland going to look like? But uh, without further ado, look, all of this, like I say, it wasn't a scripted video. I didn't have any sort of structure in front of us. I just wanted to speak from the heart. So if you did enjoy it, hit the like button. Tell me if you can wait for this game, because seriously, I cannot. It's a double upload. Today. I never do double uploads. That's when you know it's a very, very big upload. But anyways, without further ado, I hope you all go and enjoy your night. I mean, Sunderland in the FA Cup. What more could we have asked for? Thank you very much for watching. I've been Jordy Josh. Go and enjoy your night, people.